Welcome to the mid-90s, everyone. We got a new commercial satellite launch vehicle. Oh boy, I wonder what it is. Is it going to be powered by a Castor 120? That sounds very original and exciting. This is Athena, a mid-90s commercial satellite launcher powered by the Castor 120. Isn't this exciting? Athena began its life as the Lockheed Martin launch vehicle, LLV, or LMLV, after the merger with Martin Marietta, a modular solid launcher built on the Castor 120 motor set to launch in 1995. The original approach was to build a launcher from surplus Poseidon C-3 missiles, but no one was interested. LLV was designed with the nascent small to medium lift launch market of the 1990s, emphasizing the Motorola Iridium phone satellite constellation. Oops. With an all-solid system, Lockheed sought a stack-and-shoot process for integration of the vehicle, simplifications that could lower costs. And by being all-solid, that means you have a modular launcher. Lockheed envisioned a family of three vehicles using Castor 120 as the first stage and Orbis 21D as the second or third. You know what Castor 120 can do. Orbis 21D is derived from the first stage of the inertial upper stage, which carries 10.62 tons of propellant, weighs about 780 kilograms empty, has a thrust of 192.4 kilonewtons, and a specific impulse of 293.5 seconds. On top of that is the Orbital Assist Module, which is a liquid trim stage powered by small hydrazine thrusters. 92, 120, and 141 inch diameter fairings were offered, with the greater diameters available for larger vehicles. Launch sites were Kodiak Island in Alaska, Vandenberg in California, and Cape Canaveral in Florida. LLV-1 is a single Castor 120, an Orbis 21D, and the OAM. It's capable of carrying 998 kilograms to a very low Earth orbit, about 100 nautical miles, due east out of the Cape. LLV-2 is LLV-1 with another Castor 120 as Stage 1. This one aimed for 1814.3 kilograms to low Earth orbit out of the Cape. LLV-3 is LLV-2 with two, three, four, or six Castor 4A motors strapped to the stage. An LLV-3-6 was capable of somewhere around 3.6 metric tons to low Earth orbit. Growth options were to add Castor 4As to LLV-1 and two Castor 120s as boosters to LLV-3. Lockheed had a planned launch market of about 84 launchers from 1999 to 2008. By 1997, LMLV would become Athena, the goddess of wisdom. Of the above launchers, only LLV-1 and LLV-2 were built and used the 92-inch fairing. Athena-1 could do 794 kilograms to LEO, and Athena-2 could do 1,896 kilograms. Flight 1 was an Athena-1, launched on August 15, 1995 from Slick 6 at Vandenberg. The payload was Gemstar 1. During ascent, spent hydraulic fluid caught fire in the aft section of the first stage, causing serious damage. Also, the inertial measurement unit power supply had issues that caused loss of attitude reference. The mission was terminated 2 minutes and 40 seconds into flight. Apparently, this was ascribed to a curse put upon Slick 6 by the local Chumash tribe, and the team even got a Chumash religious official to lift the curse. Thank goodness the internet didn't really exist the way it does today back then, because apparently there's pictures. Oh boy. Flight 2 was another Athena 1 out of Slick 6 on August 23rd, 1997. This carried the Lewis spacecraft which then failed three days after deployment. Flight 3 was an Athena 2 with a Star 37 kickstage, carrying Lunar Prospector to the moon. This launched on January 7, 1998, from LC-46 at Cape Canaveral, the first commercial launch of a lunar probe. Flight 4 was an Athena 1 carrying Formosat 1 to orbit from LC-46 on January 27, 1999. Okay, what's going on with all these dates? Flight 5 was an Athena 2 on April 27th, 1999. It launched Iconos 1 from Slick 6 and failed to reach orbit when the shock of a payload fairing separation mechanism disconnected the cables to trigger the rest of fairing separation. Flight 6 launched Iconos 2 on September 24th, 1999. 
Flight 7 and Athena 1 launched from Kodiak LC-1 on September 30th, 2001, carrying Starshine 3, PicoSat, PCSat, and Sapphire. It is the last launch of the Athena family, it's the first orbital launch from Kodiak, and has one of my favorite images of the program. Lockheed proposed upgrades to the Athena family around 2012, called Athena 1C and 2C. These replaced the Orbis 21D with a Castor 30, uh, that's the second stage of Antares. It weighs uh, 13 metric tons full, carries 12.7 metric tons of propellant, has a thrust of 238.9 kilonewtons, and a specific impulse of 293.1 seconds. The payload capacity of Athena 1C to a 500 kilometer orbit from LC 46 was about 760 kilograms. Athena 2C could do 1885 kilograms. Upgrades to Athena 2C would be called Athena 2CS X because it would have two, four, or six Orion 50 SXLG strap on motors. Uh, we last saw Orion 50s as the second stage of Taurus. So Athena 2CS 2 could carry 2.6 metric tons to Leo. 2CS 4 could carry uh, 3.5 metric tons, and 2CS 6 could carry 4.19 tons. Now, there is concept art for Athena 2CS-6 with this fairing and configuration, but that's the only instance of it I can find. As for Athena 3, there was one proposal for COTS. Now, viewer, beware. Discretion is advised. Hold your family and pets close. Consult religious texts. Brace yourselves. This is Athena-3, a proposed launcher for Planet Space's COTS ISS cargo resupply spacecraft. The first stage is a 2.5 segment shuttle SRB, followed by Castor-120, Castor-30, and the OAM. This is capable of carrying about 5.9 metric tons to LEO, 4.6 tons to a polar orbit from Kodiak, but at what cost? Despite some interest around 2012 for Athena, no launches emerged, and the launcher was officially retired in 2017. Athena is a leftover of the launch market trends from the 1990s. Designed for the small to medium lift market, it came to operation just as that market vanished, and other launchers ate what remained of it. A moderately successful launcher, it has largely fallen to the wayside, with only seven launches and five successes. Personally, I do like the look of Athena too. It's a practical system, but for the limited market of all sod launchers, Minotaur is the only show in town. Commercial space has evolved a lot since 2001, and there's just not much else to say about Athena. Athena, that's a rocket you know.